Uh, joining us on the news tonight, the co-founder and is the chair of It Begins With You, Mr. Michael Emeka Diba. Also joining us as a board member of It Begins With You, Dr. Olumide Yefesa, as a pediatrician. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, how's the weather in Canada this time? It's um, it's it's threatening to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for making our time to to join us from Canada. Now, uh, there has been growing interest uh, of Nigerians outside Nigeria about the situations in Nigeria. Uh, why is so passionate? Why is it begins with it so passionate about uh, climate? The role Nigeria and the Nigerian government uh, is playing. Uh, on climate change, the solutions to climate change, the global warming. Why are you so interested in our role? Um, so can you take, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Emeka, you can go ahead. I'll let you go ahead. So look, why are we, the, your question is why are we interested in... Um, in, in um, why are you so passionate about our role in Nigeria, our role in, in, in global warming? Well, um, you know, um, Nigeria is our fatherland and it's very, very dear to us. And when we see how things are being done across the world, in the Western world, and, and uh, we've had the opportunity to live, uh, to, we presently have the opportunity to live in Canada and we'll see what the government is doing. Uh, we're all aware of what's going on at, uh, in Switzerland uh, the COP26 and what the world is trying to do with respect to climate change. This is why IBW started um, uh, in conjunction with JCI Nigeria, uh, a program called Cleaner Communities in Nigeria to address some of these climate issues. Okay, uh, that's brilliant. This is a non-profit organization. Uh, how do you manage to reward Nigerians how do you manage to reward Nigerians um, when they uh, uh, take more seriously with generation and management? I, I think um, it's, um, it, it's a special idea. And the, the reality is that regardless of wherever, where we live, we all have a responsibility to Nigeria. And when you asked the question earlier, uh, those in the diaspora have a core responsibility to give back to Nigeria and be a part of the solution of Nigeria. And part of what we do as ambassadors of Nigeria, so to speak, is not only look out for ways to make things better, but also to sensitize other Nigerians about that responsibility. For example, personally, I, I, I did my, all my university education in Nigeria. And so it's totally um, out of the question that I would leave Nigeria to be in another country and ignore the needs of my country. So how do we raise funds? We, we come together as individuals, collectives, and um, we make personal donations, you know, and effecting programs in Nigeria uh, relating to poverty alleviation and relating to um, community support and also now the issue of climate change. I remember when I was a young man, my dad used to have a Latin saying. It says, uh, men sana in corpore sano, meaning a sound mind in a sound body. Hmm. So if you have a sound mind in a sound body, that's, that entity should not live in a dirty environment. So there's an imp importance about the responsibility to improve the quality of our environment. Um, garbage collection, um, uh, recycling, uh, waste collection. These are basic things that speak to human dignity that should be at the forefront of the things that we do. And part of what we are hoping to do is to raise awareness regarding this reality, build, uh, build uh, strategic collaborations, individuals, corporate entities. For people, when we say it begins with you, that cleaning your environment begins with you. And I love the footage you had earlier that was speaking uh, different people, people in Adamawa, people talking about unity and all that. This is also something that can unite us. We can unite to clean our communities and make our nation better. Uh, doctor, my next question so goes to you before I come back to, to Michael. Uh, now, uh, clearing the environment, um, Nigeria is, 
uh, Africa, most of Africa, but I live in Nigeria, and um, some of us have uh, had the opportunity to, to leave the country and then come back from time to time, can tell that Nigeria is particularly dirty. Now, we're just trying to play catch up this time. Uh, how far can we go? I, I think we can go as far as we have the will to go. And uh, sometimes we we cannot miss out on a sense of urgency regarding some of the things around us. Urgency, uh, urgency. It's, I, sense of urgency, yes. In the sense that with innovation, uh, political will, personal responsibility, community awareness, we actually can go very far. When it comes to, you know, we have garbage collection, waste disposal, recycling, these are basic things that should not be, that are not out of our reach. It's not, uh, it's not rocket science. And when you talk about waste to wealth, there are actually very unique things relating to recycling and, uh, and reusable products that are, that are out there in innovative ways that, uh, so people are talking about using, for example, waste as a biomass for fuel even for electricity. We may not have the highest levels of technology, but definitely we can start somewhere Absolutely. and we can, make, uh, we can make our communities cleaner, without a doubt. Now, thank you, Doctor. Now, Michael, uh, <laughs> when, when we talk about waste management, uh, it starts from waste generation, sorting. Um, you have, well, in some parts of the world that you have like a, a, an orange bag where you have plastics or bottles and then you have a black bag for, for other things. Now, we, we don't have that, that in Nigeria, all right? So how can we uh, give the people, our people, the orientation, right? The orientation to, to imbibe the habit of sorting. How can we achieve that? Well, uh, thank you, Tolu. We... Um it's a unique, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like, like Dr. Yefos just said, these things are not rocket science. Uh, part of what we'll be providing as prototypes will be, um, uh, again, from recycled products, we're going to be, have, we're going to have a, tire, a, a bin or garbage made from tire. Now we're going to be, color them into different, uh, we're going to make them into different colors, uh, green and yellow. Yellow will be for general waste, while green will be for recycle. And so people are, and there'll be bags covering these things. The idea is when you go to um, markets in Nigeria, you look around, you don't see, you don't even see bins. Mm -hmm. So we hope to show, uh, provide some of these things in these strategic places, work with others in, you know, corporate Nigeria, work with the government. Mm -hmm. And people will have the opportunity to, to identify the bins conspicuously placed, and then they'll be able to sort it into general waste or litter and then recycle. Again, it's not rocket science, and I think it's something we can do, starting with advocacy, starting with talking about this uh, processes here, and thanking you very much for giving us the opportunity to do that today. Gentlemen, um, I'm, gonna be, gentlemen I'm going to be very frank with you. It's going to be difficult mm. to achieve in days sitting back in Canada. Do you have representatives in Nigeria? How do you want to give the people orientation? How do you want to sensitize them better? How do you want to uh, go about distributing these colored bags to people uh, to get them uh, uh, interested in this project? I, I, I think I can speak to that. The reality is that it's um, the, the focus of uh, IBW, the core focus is really about doing good in Nigeria. So we actually have a strong presence in Nigeria. We have our members in Nigeria. We also have strong partners that work with us in Nigeria. So that would not be a problem. The, the reality is that it is now a process whereby we're starting a conversation, building orientation, and also leading by example. If you imagine human nature as it is, I don't know if it happens to you, but if you go to a place that is very clean, you don't see any litter on the floor. Right. Before you actually decide to drop something on the floor, there's something in your mind that will make you think twice. If you go to a place that's sparkling clean, you know, and of course, if you're in a place where there's garbage everywhere. We, we have people that live in, you know, yes, like you're showing there, who live by refuse bins. And that refuse disposal has become something that we ignore. And I think we have to start from somewhere. And, and hopefully uh, grow uh, more, more 
uh, a more wholesome attitude and a, a better a, a better a better behavior when it comes to when it comes to waste management. Thank Definitely, you. we have to do that. Thank you, gentlemen. My, my last question to you, Michael. Uh, so, the reward. How do you go about rewarding people? How do they participate? And then, how do they get the reward? Um, Nigerians can be very skeptical about things like this when it comes to reward, uh, rewarding exercises or habits like this. They, they are very skeptical. Like uh, then they give you the waste, they do all the, all the, they go through the motion, and then they can't get their reward. How do you want to go about it? How do you reward people? So, um, like uh, Dr. Yefasha has just said, we we're heavily present in Nigeria, and we work with uh, the Junior Chambers International, Nigeria, a, a, a not-for-profit. Uh, we're collaborating with uh, with the Junior Chambers International and other people, including uh, Ms. Jumoke Olu Kere from Ibadan. We're going to have, we on our, on our website, www.ibw.org, as well as the JCI, www.jci. I believe it's JCING. Um, once you go in there, you there's the simple instructions on how you can go clean, uh, go to a dirty area, clean it up, post the before and after pictures on those links, and we'll be having monthly draws to select the best entry for that month. And this will run for 12 months, commencing this November 2021 to October 2022. Everybody will stand a chance to win. Uh, we're even looking at, obviously, uh, a first prize and a second prize and a third prize. It's just, a, it's just simple, simple acts of charity, beginning with each of us. This exercise is about cleaning our home and making ourselves whole, cleaning, cleaning our environment and everybody gets a chance to win, and hopefully the conversation then starts about how we can even make it better. Thank you. Amazing, thank you very much, Dr. Efeso. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, thank you. for joining thank you. us. Thank you. thank you for having us. Thank you. Thanks for having us, thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.